lead the executive. It started in 2014 because um, the need arose to take our usual online interaction and create um, an offline platform where people can actually you know, interact with the bank. Um, generally, we find that at the beginning of the year, lots of people are prone to make new year resolutions, the things they want to do are the things they do not want to do. But as a bank, we figured how can we um, bring some of these resolutions to reality? How can we help people achieve their goals? And so the idea for Media Executive came up as a solution that affords um, people an opportunity to prepare their business plans rather than resolutions. Because you notice most of these resolutions are tied towards eventual profit or um, making some sort of you know money at the end of the year. So we say, how about we create an avenue where people can send in their business ideas for the year, their business plans for the year, and we look through them, sift through them, train them, and then give them an opportunity to present these business plans before the executives of the bank and uh, stand the chance to win um, grants. The first benefit that all participants of MTE get is they have hands-on experience on how to run their own business. So even if they don't qualify for the grants eventually, we've added that little value of um, helping them build their own businesses by themselves. Well, this, this year was very, very competitive. I, I noticed because we had a blend of um, innovative people, we had a blend of people already in business who were looking to expand their business. And what, what was a very constant factor was the fact that Nigerians are thinking. Um, people came up with products that are non-existent, products that can solve problems, products that can create ease of living. And the, the, the general, I was impressed by the level of, of um, engagement. Lots of people know what they want to do, even down to the financial requirements or what they need. Um, in a time where the economy is tilting towards indigenous production, tilting towards people being able to source for themselves, I could see that a lot of people are ready to play in that space of being entrepreneurs of their own. So it was, it was very eye-opening. Hello there, my name is Jide Ikwaye. Uh, I run Kix. Kix is uh, the first innovative and social footwear brand in Africa. We're focused on production of urban as well as athletic inspired uh, shoes. Yeah, I'm a Sheponi Florence. I'm a speech uh, therapist. I run J&J &J Cavalry Hearing and Speech Center where we care for children with developmental disability. Right. My name is Idong Esetari Sulimo and I run Idong Hari Limited. It's a handmade footwear and accessory making company. We manufacture and retail handmade shoes for men, women, children, and we also make school shoes for schools too. Um, the Sterling Bank training was extremely um, helpful. Uh, it also exposed a lot of uh, flaws or gray areas in the planning process because we were asked to actually go through the process of doing a business plan. And that basically forced a lot of thinking as well as going into the level of detail that is required to actually talk to investors as well as um, getting the right kind of business modeling going. Um, okay, well, the training has helped shape my business model in the sense that um, I was being, I used to categorize my um, target market as the upwardly mobile only. But then um, having gone through the training and then doing my pitch, I was um, made aware that I also, I, that. I could also target the HNI as the high net worth individual and I should actually be able to classify them into categories and not um, give them the same type of values because they fall under different um, categories in the economy. Well, during the training, I learned a lot. Uh, having our accounts properly documented, our invoice, our receipts, and everything we do, it has to be properly documented and also I learned about taking care of our customer and in my own case because some of our parents they are already frustrated they are already burdened you see some will come to make inquiry and at the end of the inquiry they will not even come back some will come for what I call assessment at the end of the assessment they will not come back but during the training I learned that I need to call them regularly to encourage them, to motivate them in order for us to help these children. 
Well, the grant will help us to put uh, so many things in order, like all the materials we use to uh, work with these children. Uh, by majorly, we are going to use the grants for to keep uh, our office to do more for the children we are working with. Okay, I think most importantly, uh, one of the advice I got had to do with uh, the positioning of the product in the marketplace. Um, and then basically trying to also align it with the brand to make sure that we actually give the right message to the right target market and that we're able to zoom in to the right customers. Pricing, uh, positioning and of course how we promote is very important to getting uh, a successful brand into the market. Um, yes, the comments from the judges was very helpful. Um, he helped me, one of the comments, one of the judges made me narrow down my target market and my competitors. Well, I'd like to say a very big thank you to Sterling Bank for this opportunity. Um, it's been extremely exciting. I mean, it also helps to basically endorse what it is that we've been doing, more of a reinforcement of the work being done. So I, I think it's a wonderful opportunity. Um, it's a great thing they're doing and I want to ask them to keep doing it. Thank you very much, Sterling Bank. All right. I want to say thank you, Sterling Bank. Um, it was a very wonderful experience, especially the time where we had to vote for, or we had to campaign for votes to enable us to win the competition. Um, I'd never really pushed my business before, and during that point in time, the one week opened my eyes to a lot of things on how if you push your business well enough to people's faces and they see the reason why your business is viable, they would buy from you just the same way they agreed to vote for you. So thank you again, Sterling Bank. Uh, one customer bank. Selling, they have been doing great. Girls won. They are SME friendly, and looking at their activity so far, like myself, I've been a beneficiary of so many things from them, and I, I we are praying for them. God will continue to help them and uh, enlarge the cost of the bank, and we really appreciate them. Um, Sterling Bank has over the over the years shown that. It's beyond just a slogan when we say that our goal is to enrich lives. It's not, it's not just a banking slogan, it's not just a motto. It's actually our culture. Apart from me, the executive, there have been several other initiatives. There are things like Social Lender, there's the um, First Car Finance, there's the MSME Academy and Training. We take our customers' needs and as much as possible, we try to provide solutions that actually meet that need. So we're not just in the process or in the business of banking where we just want to collect your money and keep it for you. We're in the process of trying to ensure that you get value as a human, as a person, as a human being. So beyond the things we do, we also try to make life easy for you. So we say rather than, you know, go to a branch where you need to do your transactions, you can either just, you know, pick up your phone and dial the short codes that A22 hash and you make your transaction, you can send money, send airtime. Um, you want to go to the ATM, you can withdraw without a card. We, we're in the business of making life easy for our customers. We're in the business of ensuring that their lives are enriched in every way possible. So it's beyond a bank. It's, Sterling Bank is, is a partner. It's, it's, it, it's, when we say we're the one customer bank, it's because we want to be that friend, that partner that you rely on at every step of your, your walk in life.